family, Z14 Natural here, and I'm back with another video. Today we are talking about the benefits of pre-poo. So I'm using coconut oil today. Um, it's one of my favorites. Uh, some other oils that I like to use are mustard oil and olive oil, but I've used coconut oil today. So I'm going to go over how I pre-poo and what the benefits are. So right now we're looking at my hair. It's been a full four weeks and it's looking a little crazy. Um, but yeah, it is the day before my wash day and I'm just applying the pre-poo directly to my hair. And I'm going to take the time and saturate my entire head with this. You don't want to go too crazy, but definitely I like to make sure every strand is coated. And um, what I do is after that, I put a plastic bag on my head if I'm going out I'll put like a cute little hat over it and then I let it sit for minimum one hour but a lot of times I like to do it overnight and then the next day I just go forward with my regular wash day all right so pre-poo why is it beneficial so I've actually been hearing about pre-poo for years and I didn't start doing it um until I want to say maybe like two, three years ago, because I really did not understand what was the point. It, it seemed to make no sense to me. Like, why would you add oil or conditioner to your hair before you shampoo it? Like, what is the point of that? But I have unfortunately learned the hard way that um, it actually is very necessary. I would say it's beneficial for everyone, but it's especially beneficial if you have high porosity hair high porosity hair, it's a definite must. If you have fine hair, fine hair is more prone to breakage. So again, I'm gonna say it's a definite must. I have low porosity hair, like maybe some people can get away with it, but I think it's beneficial for low porosity hair as well. So let's get into um, some of the benefits. So the number one benefit of pre-poo is that it's going to prevent over stripping of your hair. So when you shampoo your hair, especially if you're using sulfate shampoos and, you know, maybe you use heavy products like gels and a lot of styling creams, maybe you need a sulfate shampoo to like remove all of the buildup on your hair. Um, having the pre-poo beforehand prevents your strands from getting so dry to the point where it's increasing breakage. So that's going to add like a level of protection against over stripping of your hair and so you'll find that if you start using pre-poos you'll have a lot more flexibility in the type of shampoos that you can use for your hair the second benefit is that it is going to reduce breakage so one of the reasons why I don't wash my hair frequently is your wash day is when most people are actually going to experience the most amount of breakage. So your hair is most fragile when it's wet and all of the manipulation that is required to wash your hair, you know, you're going you that that's when a lot of breakage is going to happen. However, if you pre-poo and in my opinion, you have to pre-poo with an oil, um, otherwise you're not getting all the benefits. Like definitely not a conditioner. Some people use aloe vera. Maybe that could work. Um, for me, I, 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 I tried the aloe vera, it's not for me, but definitely I, I think you're gonna get the most benefits if you use an oil. I feel like if you use a conditioner, that's defeating the purpose. But adding the oil is actually going to help you reduce breakage. So because your hair already has a coating of oil, and if you use an oil, a penetrating oil, like coconut or grapeseed, that's going to get inside your strand and that's going to be make it uh, more supple and less likely to break. It's also going to prevent protein loss. So that's one of the major benefits of pre -pill. You'll find that over time you actually lose a lot less hair when you're pre pulling okay? A third benefit, um, and it kind of goes along the same lines, is it prevents high growth fatigue. So high growth fatigue is something that happens. It's, um, it's also called moisture overload, or like what people say, it's moisture overload. And that's when your hair takes on too much water too quickly and it actually damages your strands. So um, this is a thing, it, it does happen, especially like if you have a wash day that has a ton of steps, you know, like your hair is going through a lot during that process. So having that pre-shampoo, it kind of acts as a buffer um, beforehand to kind of protect your hair. 
another benefit, another reason why I pre-poo is it's the absolute best way to detangle your hair. So kind of like in the same way, um, like oil cleansing is really effective at removing um, buildup from your uh, skin. Like if you it's like oil is like a great way to remove makeup and other stuff from your skin. It's the same for your hair. So it's actually going to help if you have um, like heavy gels or what have you. It helps prepare your hair for the washing process because it's already stripping off a layer of um, dirt and debris and whatever else might be on your hair because oil does break down dirt. So that helps with detangling. So if you have product buildup, you know, sometimes that can cause your hair to kind of knot together the oil. And I do it after I've already let the pre-poo kind of sit. That's the best way to detangle your hair. It just really makes it a breeze. And also since your hair is not wet, it is oily, it just makes it easier for you to get through those tangles with ease. And your hair is also stronger because remember your hair is weakest when it's wet. So your hair is a little stronger. So you're less likely to lose hair and have breakage during your detangling process. By detangling your hair before you wash it, it just makes your wash day a breeze everything just goes more smoothly your styling I, I think it actually speeds up your wash day um, it's just a lot easier to handle your hair especially if you feel like you have a hair type that is difficult so I have 4c hair I don't like to call my hair difficult but I can't say that it's easy <laughs> it's definitely not um, it's not I, I would say because there isn't as much knowledge about this hair type I feel like we're all kind of figuring it out now and they're like you know, we haven't had that exposure early on to know like the right way to deal with our hair. So it's a learning process for sure. And pre-poo has helped so much. Okay. Another amazing benefit of pre-poo that a lot of people um, don't talk about, it actually reduces shrinkage. So you're going to find that you have less shrinkage, which is amazing. It just, I think it allows you to enjoy your hair more. Now you can play around with this. I find that different oils um, kind of like there's like variation in the level of shrinkage that you're going to see. For me, I find mustard oil is like the most elongating. So mustard oil, I, I love it. I don't use it all the time, but I really like how it makes my hair feel soft. But it really, you know, you really get that hang time with mustard oil. So that's um, another nice uh, benefit of it. All of these things together, I mean, pre-poo, there's really no reason why you shouldn't be doing. I think it's beneficial for everyone. If you have fine hair, if you have high porosity hair, you really should think about it. And again, in my opinion, you have to pre-poo with an oil to get the benefits. If you do it with a conditioner that's water-based, that's not going to prevent um, hygro fatigue. Like you're adding an element of water beforehand, so you're not going to get that layer of protection. Um, I, I would put a question mark around aloe vera, but I think if you're using pure oil or a pure butter, um, like, you know, those butters that kind of melt down into an oil, like an avocado butter or a mango butter, something like that, um, you're going to get the most benefits out of it. And, you know, I like to, again, leave it in my hair once I'm done and uh, wash my hair the next day. And my hair feels so soft. I feel like if you do this one time and you just see how soft your hair feels afterward, you're going to realize that this, this, this is the key. This is the key, you know? Um, so those are my tips. I hope that you found this helpful. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, I mean, you know, come on, subscribe, like the video, help a girl out. Um, and I thank you so much for watching. If there's any questions that you have, or if there's any content that you would like me to make, um, please leave a comment down below and I'll just let you uh, finish watching uh, my pre-proof process. Thank you so much.